Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful beaded necklace out of seed beads, eto beads and bicons. If you don't have this type of teardrop, you could skip it. It looks really cool even without it. I'm showing slowly and easy and I hope that at the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make it by yourself. You could always ask me in the comments. Uh, if you don't understand something, I'll try to answer to all of your questions. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And if you want to see more and more beautiful videos like this, you could subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you won't miss a thing and you will be inspired often two, three times a week. And I have another announcement that I have a second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips, where I post fast clips of my most famous videos. and. You could see the whole project in just three minutes and decide if you feel like making it or not. So if you want to check it out and subscribe there, you're welcome. It's down there in the comments as well as full list of materials, link to PayPal, donations to develop this channel and all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of HO beads, one color of 11 oz seed beads, 3 mm bicons, I use 17 pieces of them and here I use chains with attached clasp to them with jump rings and two additional jump rings to attach them. These are not obligatory guys, uh, they are uh, you could um, use beaded chain instead of them and there are a lot of tutorials out there for beaded chains or so these are not obligatory and this one here that I'm putting in the center is also not obligatory only if you want you could add it it will look good even without it and this is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters you could use other beading thread of your choice or fire line this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that I use to attach my chain okay so now take about an arm span of thread on your needle and we will start. Don't worry if your thread is over, I'm showing later how to add more thread to your project. Okay, so now I'm going to start. Okay guys, and now I'm going to start by picking up a silver, a white, a silver and a white of these beautiful Ato beads. And I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of this row, okay. And here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I'm going to make one more knot and pull again. Okay guys and now I have this. And what I do is that I reinforce my work. Okay, I go around one more time through all of those beads. Reinforcing it and now I'm going through this white one here. Okay, so now I have the first component of my necklace. And now what I want to do next is take a silver, a white and a silver. I'm taking three beads this time and I'm going around through this fourth one and I'm making the same cross of four beads but these two elements share a bead here this one in the center and now I'm going to reinforce. Okay, by going one more time around those beads. Okay guys, and I will continue this the same way. I'm going here through this white bead at the edge. And then again, I take 
three beads silver a white and a silver okay this is what i have and i'm going back here through this white one and now i have again across the four also called right angle weave and i'm going to reinforce it okay i'm reinforcing it I will show you one more time a silver, a white and a silver, okay? And I'm going back here in circle through this one. And then again, I'm reinforcing. Okay, guys, and I will continue this until I have 19 components. And when I have those 19, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and what I have here are my 19 components like the one that I showed you before. And now what I'm going to do is go through this silver bead. And I want to take one white bead and go through the following silver. Okay, I'm taking one more white going through the next silver one white go through the following silver one more okay guys and now i'm going to continue this row the same way i'm showing you here so now this row is finished and I just need to add the last white bead from it. Okay, I have it here on my needle. And I'm going through the following silver. Now, what I want to do is go through this white and exit at the other side of my work through this silver. I'm taking just one white bead going through the silver again one more white go through the silver here i'm showing one more time fourth time and i'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row just like i showed you before and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next Okay guys, and I'm here at the last two steps of my row, where I'm adding my last two white beads. Okay, and I added them. Now, if you like this pattern, you could turn it into a bracelet itself. If you are a beginner and looking for beautiful patterns, this one might be for you. Just continue this uh, until your wrist size, okay? So now what I do is that I exit here through this white bead and I'm going to start my next row and I need a silver 8 an 110 and a silver 8 This is what I have and I'm going back through this white bead here just like that. Okay. Then what I do is that I go through the next silver and through the white after that. And this time, guys, I'm taking one silver 8 and one 11 just two beads, not three, like I did in my previous steps. And now I'm going through two beads and I have a cross of four again. So I'm adding two and going through two that are already there from my previous element and from this central bead. And I have this. Okay, then I continue go through the next silver and white that's sticking out and again i'm taking two beads one a2 and one eleven oh okay i go back here through these two and through the silver and the next white bead okay and I exit out of this white and I take a two again. 
go back the same way I showed you before. And if you can, in your next step, go through the following two beads just to save time. Just if you can, okay? 8 0, 11 0, as I showed you before. Go back through these two and exit again through the next two, saving time. And now, guys, I will continue in the same manner until the end of this row. I'm showing you here for the last time, going like this. And continue this pattern. If you forgot how I'm doing this, just rewind, check it out and continue. Okay, so now here I am at the last step of this row, taking two beads. And I'm going back here in circle, like that, like I did before. And what I need to do next is transfer at the other side of my work. Okay. Now my thread is almost over, so I'm going to show you how to add more thread. Okay, I'm going after this white bead, making here a loop going once. Then what I do is that I go second time through this loop I've made, I pull. Then I go through the following seed bead, stick my needle in my mat and I want to cut my thread. And now I will show you how to add a new thread. Okay, I have my new thread on my needle. And I will do a similar thing that I showed you before. Okay, so I go through this seed bead. I'm holding here my tail thread with my thumb. And I will do absolutely the same thing. I'm making a loop. And I'm going once, and I'm going second time through this loop I've made, and I pull. Then, guys, I go through the following beat that's on my way, and I will continue my work. I will cut my thread before that. Okay, and I have this. And now, guys, I should bend this row to the center of my work. Okay, and I'll show you how I'm doing this in a while. Okay, this one is sticking out as you may see, and I'm exiting out of this white one. And what I need to take is one silver 8 0, and I go through this 11 0 that is sticking out from my previous row. Okay, you see what I have here? This one is sticking out, and this one is moving to the center, and I need one. Eto, go back here through this white one just like this and I pull, okay. You see this cute flower in the center. This one is sticking out where I will attach the bicon. And then guys, I go through the following two beads, two Eto's exiting out of the white one that's sticking out a little bit. Then, guys, I take a NATO. And guess what? I'm going through this 11 0 that's sticking out the most, and through this 8 0 that is from my previous element. And now I'm adding just one bead, but I'm going through three more that are already there. So I'm still making this famous cross of four beads, or also called right angle weave. You see how it looks. It sticks in the center. Okay. Now I go through the following two, aiming for the white one that's sticking out the most. And until the end of this row, I'm going to add only one ato at each step. Okay. One ato. Go through this 11 0, just like this. Okay. Then I go through the next two beads, the silver and the white that I was initially exiting out of. Okay, I have this in that step. OK, 
Okay, guys, now you see how it goes to the center and looks the same from both sides. My casing is starting to form. Now I'm going through the following two beads just like this. Okay, exiting out of the white one. Okay, I take one. I take one at each step here and go through the 11 all. Then go through the next two, the silver and the white in circle, back in circle. Okay, I have this beautiful casing forming here. Okay, beautiful flowers in the center where I will put my bicons later. Then I go through the next two again. I'm doing the same thing, absolutely the same thing. It's easy. Now from here on, it's only one bead added at each step, as I said earlier. Going again through this 11 all, then through the silver and through the white, like I did many times before, and I pull. Okay, I have this now, it looks really good, and I will continue this until the end of this row, and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and now I'm re almost ready. You see how beautifully it looks. And I will just show you my last two steps. Okay, I'm exiting out of this white one here. And I want to take one bicon. Uh, sorry, not a bicon, a toe. Go back. I'm already thinking of the bicons. Okay, go two beads away from this white one. Okay, and now it is the last step, the last ato from this row. Go back here, okay, just like this. And go through the white, and my goal is to exit through one of my 11 nodes and start adding the bicons, okay. So how I'm doing this, I'm going through this ato just like this. Then, guys, what I do is that I go through this 11-0. Okay, I have this. I have this. And I'm taking the first bicon. Okay, here it is. And I'm going through the next 11-0. And now my band will start forming. Okay, I pull tight and I want this to stay nice in the center between those two 11 holes. Okay, when I pull and my work bends, it goes in the center. Okay, then I take another bicon, go through this 11 hole, pull tight. Okay, now I have this two bicons attached to my work. Sticking out. Okay, the third one I'm taking. Go here through this 11 0. Okay, and pull like this. Okay, guys. Now they stay nice and tight in their nests. Maybe at some point it, not, it won't be that perfect. But I'll fix it with the following thread pad that I will show you how I'm doing. Okay, it wants to bend back, but I won't let it. Okay, now it looks good. And I will continue these guys. Okay, this stands a little bit strange. Okay, but I will continue this anyways until I, I my 17 bicons and then I will make this additional thread pad that I was telling you about to make them stay nice and tight. Okay, I will continue this and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here I am at my last step where I'm adding my last 17th of my crystals. They don't stay perfectly 
well now at this stage but we'll fix them don't worry about this we'll fix them later okay so what i do is that i make a transition here because i want to reposition my thread and i want to exit again through this icon but from the other direction from this direction okay i'm repositioning okay now i'm going through this 11 now and through the icon and i want it to bend like this okay in this row i'll show you how i'm taking one 11 now going here through the icon pull and you see how it sits now it is really better at this row you will see the difference okay now i go here and pull again like this take just one more go through the following and pull you see they stay nice and tight already and the band is better in a better shape okay i will continue this at one seed bit go here okay like this just like this and i will continue this until the end of this row and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here where i'm adding my last seed bead from this row okay i'm adding it here and now guys i have an additional step of adding the teardrop at the center it's not obligatory but i want to add it anyways if you want you could skip it as i told you in the beginning and here it is it looks really cool and i will add it okay so now what i want to do is reach the center so i want to go uh, through eight crystals and exit out of the ninth one and i will show you how i'm doing this in this way i'm finding the center of my 17 beads i have one in the center eight from one side and, and eight from the other side and now i will go in this direction up to this crystal okay so now i'm here at the central crystal and i have eight from one side and eight from the other side and this is the central one and here is where i'm going to attach my teardrop and in order to do this i'm going in this direction and i want to exit through this seed bead then through the other seed bead and through my crystal okay as i'm exiting through my crystal what i want to take are three seed beads okay three of them and i'm going here through this seed bead okay then i'm going back through the crystal again then again i'm going through two of those newly added seed beads exiting out of the central one of those three just like this you see how it looks and now i'm going to take my teardrop crystal i will take three seed beads I will go through this teardrop crystal exit out of it just like this take three more seed beads okay i have three of them i'm going to slide those down okay three and now in my next step I'm going to skip those three, go directly through the crystal and through the following two seed beads after that. Okay, I have this. And I'm pulling. 
Then in my next step, guys, I will fix this a little bit just to see. In my next step, I'm going to take one seed bead, just one. And I'm going back here through this central seed bead that I was initially exiting out of before I started attaching my crystal. Okay, now I have this. And you could go and reinforce this part one more time if you want. It's not obligatory. If you want it to dangle more, uh, don't reinforce, okay? So I'm going here in this direction, finding a place to make a knot and cut my thread. And in order to do this, I'm going through some beads here at the center of my work. Okay, going through this silver one. And through the next two beads. Maybe here is a good place to make a knot, okay, between those two beads. And how I'm doing this, I'm making here a loop. And I'm going once, then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull again. And then guys, what I do after I make a knot, I go through the following seed bead or bead that's next to it. And I take my scissors and cut my thread. Okay guys, and now in my next step, I'm going to show you how to attach your chains. So see you in a while. Okay guys, so I'm here at this step where I want to add my chains to my work. And how I'm doing this, I'm taking this jump ring. I will open this up. And what I want to do is put it here at this 8 bit. Okay. I'm putting it here. Then I'm going to take my chain and put it also at this jump ring. Now I have this. And now guys, I'm going to close. Okay. And I have this chain attached here and I will repeat this from the other side. Okay guys, so now my beaded necklace is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be notified when I make absolutely free new tutorials two times a week and you will be inspired often. And you could check my second channel, Bijuteo Fast Clips, where I make fast clips of my most famous videos. And you could see a whole project in just three minutes and enjoy the process of creation and save time and decide if you feel like making it or not. Uh, just check the description for my second channel and for all my social networks where you could share pictures of the works that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. Find the link there for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.